Hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug is one of my favorite coffee mugs, my M&M coffee mug. Before I started doing videos, this is the coffee mug that I used most of the time to drink my tea. Today's tea is a roasted herbal dandelion dark roast. It has carob, chicory, dandelion root, ramon or ramen or I'm uh, just going to butcher that one. The O has a funky simple over it, so I know it's pronounced differently than what I'm used to. Anyway, it has those kinds of seeds and a natural coffee flavor. I'm not particularly a coffee fan, but let's give it a taste and see if it tastes like coffee or if it tastes like carob. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. It tastes like coffee. You get a hint of the carob, the chocolatiness in there. It's not bitter, but it's definitely a coffee flavor. This will not be one of my favorites in the sips by bags that I've tried, but this is like my sixth or seventh one. So one out of all of that is not a, a bad running as far as I'm concerned. I will probably finish this up and I will probably give the remaining three bags of this to my daughter who will probably enjoy it. Just, if there was more chocolate in it, I think I would enjoy it more, honestly. Anyway, so today, um, let me give you a warning that this particular review is going to take a while. <laughs> um, the review for last month's box, or Unfinished Business, is actually rather complicated and long um, for various reasons. First of all, they didn't send us conditioner, so I went to try to find the conditioner, and when I didn't find the conditioner, I bought a, another one that had honey in it to work with it until I could find the actual conditioner, and then I bought the conditioner. So I have two extra products that did not come in the box here with me that I'll be adding because one of them is um, one of them is part of the line and I think should be reviewed with the rest of the line and the other one I used with it so I might as well go ahead and do that. Um, the line also taught me something as well. Um, I was having some real issues with some of the products in the line as you will find out and what I discovered was that um, when a product has both isopropyl alcohol and dimethicone in it, uh, particularly when the isopropyl alcohol comes before the dimethicone on the um, ingredient list, um, my hair hates it. Uh, it it becomes very frizzy. It becomes a real. It becomes a mess essentially, um, and it dries. The ends feel more dry, and my curl does not have any definition. It's a disaster. Um, now I can layer those. Uh, particular ingredients. Um, in other words, I can put something that has isopropyl alcohol in my hair as a styling cream and then put another one that has dimethicone with, in my hair as a styling product. I cannot have them in the same product. I don't know why that is. Um, and honestly, I kept thinking, that can't be right. If you can't use them together, there should be no way you could layer them either. But I kept trying them together and then I would try them individually and it just, it's definite. I can't have the two of them in the same product. So that's something that I have to start watching out for when I get my products, when I start using them. And it's part of the reason why this ended up being such a mess. But let's get to that unfinished business and let's start talking about it. So um, this was the Cream of Nature Pure Honey line. It's new. Uh, you'll note that there is a lot of product in here and that's because I ended up combining it with um, my Shea Moisture and I will explain to you in a minute why. Um, this is their Moisturizing Dry Defense Shampoo. Uh, it does have dimethicone in it. It has a very decent lather. It has a Give, gave me a bit of a squeak, but it was kind of deeper in pitch. I don't know if that even makes sense to people, but uh, that stripping squeak usually is kind of on the higher pitch. The squeak that I was getting from this was on the lower pitch. 
I did notice some dryness. I did notice some tangling. Um, not as much as when I used the Maui from the previous month. Um, and then my wet curl ended up being more of a wave than a curl when I used this. It's usable. I wouldn't repurchase it. Putting the Shea Moisture in it helped a lot. Um, so I just, I, it's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful shampoo, but for me, it needed the help. And the two products have worked together very, very well, which also was a good thing because um, if I had had to rely on my Shea Moisture for the last month, I would have run out. But like I said, I will finish using this up at some point, depending on what's going on with the new box. Um, but I would not repurchase this at all. Finding a place for this stuff. Next is the uh, Pure Honey Moisture Replenish and Strength Hair Mask. Now, this was confusing to me. Um, this is very loose. You can see that. It's very, very loose. Um, so to me, this was more like a conditioner than a mask. It really does not feel like a mask. But the big problem is this one has both isopropyl alcohol and dimethicone in it. Um, it did give me some decent slip, some wet curl, uh, but not as good as usual with my previous products. Um, even when my hair was damp, there were flyaways it was it was very weird and that's what first alerted me to the fact that there was maybe a problem and as I went through and looked at the ingredients of the various um, products I was using that's how I um, narrowed in on the combination because if I had the dimethicone it was fine if I had just the isopropyl it was fine it was when it was mixed in a product so my damp hair had the flyaways my dry hair was frizzy with undefined curls it felt very soft when my hair was wet but my hair felt dry especially on the ends once it was all dry uh, careful up there girl <laughs> she's providing extra entertainment I guess so this is, I'm not even gonna finish using this. Um, I'm gonna give it to my daughter and see if she wants to use it for herself or use it for her daughter. But for my hair, I can't use this at all. Next is the uh, Moisturizing dry, dry Defense Conditioner. Now, I went looking for this and I had to buy this. This one has both the isopropyl alcohol and dimethicone. I did not know that this was a problem when I went to buy it or I would not have bought it. This is very thick, as you can tell. It's not moving. I think this would have been better with a pump to use it. However, uh, the nice, it, it did give me some decent wet slip, um, some wet curl. Um, there was some slight dryness on the ends when my hair was wet. I'm trying to look at my notes, so I'm sorry. Um, it didn't need any of my extra serum, my hair was kind of soft down to the ends. Once I did the serum, I got very good pre-plopping uh, uh, pre curl. But my morning hair, oh my lord. Frizzy, 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 frizzy mess. Uh, there were more defined, there were some more defined curls than say with just this. Um, but let, there was less volume. The frizziness is the problem. The dryness is the problem. It is not a horrible conditioner. It's just not for me and I'm not really that impressed with it for my hair. So yeah, this is also going to my daughter. I would never finish it. I need my hair. I sleep on my hair damp um, almost every night. I work out. Um, lately it's been so hot that you know, when I get done with doing my dishes, I dance with the dishes. Sounds strange, but I do. So I'm hot and sweaty by the time I'm done that. And I need to rinse off before I go to bed. So my hair is damp before I go to bed. And I need a conditioner that will work with my styling products to not give me that frizz in the morning. And this just didn't do that. So, yeah, no. Now, I did, like I said, I did buy another one that was not in the line, but was also, um, has honey, and that's the Garnier Whole Blends, Garnier Whole Blends Repairing Conditioner, Honey Treasures with Royal Jelly Honey and 
propolis extracts. This stuff really, really, there's still some in there. I'm going to have to put that back in my bathroom. This stuff really, really surprised me. Um, it has isopropyl alcohol, but it does not have regular dimethicone. What it does have is amodimethicone, which doesn't um, build up. Uh, it is easily removed and with uh, products containing, uh, let me see if I can read this. I wrote it down. Cocoa betaine. Betaine. Anyway, and it and the amodimethicone is actually possibly very good for your hair. This is very, very thick. It has amazing, amazing slip. Um, even on the worst day using this, of for my hair. Uh, my hair uh, was silky and smooth. It had a lot of wet curl. And what I mean by the worst day, it's when my hair was had gotten completely dried out from what I was using before. And I could tell that the ends were dry and I was having issues. That would be the worst day. So that's why I can say that it gave me amazing wet curl. My hair soaked this one up. And honestly, if you're going to choose between the two, I'd say take this one. It's $4, whereas this one is eight or nine. You can get this at well, um, apparently at Walmart for less than that, but on the side it runs eight or nine. There was still some frizz in the morning, but not as much as with the pure honey alone, because I did do some mixing with this. Um, I would use this, and or I would use this and this. So with the pure honey alone, there was a lot of frizz. With this, there wasn't nearly as much frizz. Um, it was almost as good as the Shea Moisture, which was in the first box that I got that I really love. Um, my biggest issue with it is it has a very, very, very strong scent. It's very sweet. It's very floral. And um, fortunately, it fades. But um, I highly recommend this. This was... Um, like I said, amazing slip. My hair responded to it very well, especially when dealing with the Pure Honey line, and I was just really struggling. Um, I have to tell you, for most of these products, I stopped using them as soon as I had my review notes down. Let's get into uh, shampoo and conditioner results um, overall, because um, I think it's important to note that some of these the products that I'm keeping, the ones that have worked for me, um, the shampoo I'm working with, I'm going to finish using, wouldn't repurchase, but the other stuff, a lot of it, I just, I couldn't even finish using it. It was just too, my hair just didn't respond to it. So, uh, I initially used the mask for a conditioner since they didn't give me a conditioner. Um, and this was supposed to be highly moisturizing, but my hair was a wreck. There was frizz, there was no definition, it took a lot to fix it, and my hair still felt dry. And when I say it took a lot to fix it, uh, normally when I get up in the morning and I'm trying to repair my curl, I usually use now a um, bottle of water that has a little bit of the Shea Moisture. Uh, meth. Give me a minute. Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil. Honestly, I love this stuff. You'd think I'd remember the name. Uh, I have a little bit of the milk from that line in the water, just a little bit, to add some moisturizing properties to the water. And that's what I use. I had to use a lot of that. I had to use um, some of my Shea Moisture uh, Curl um, curl Definer. I can't remember the name of it now. I think it's a mango one. Um, so it took a lot of stuff to um, restore my curl, reduce the frizz, and um, my hair, I didn't like the way my hair feel. I don't like a lot of crap in my hair. Let's, let me just go with that. I am getting used to having a slight um, feeling of residue just from trying to take care of my hair the way it's supposed to be. Uh, anything more than that is just too much and I hate it. I preconditioned using my Garnier Honey Treasures mask, which is what I use for my ends. That did help. Uh, but there was still uh, some frizz and dryness. And even with my hair wet, like I mentioned earlier, there were a lot of flyaways. This works best out of the two conditioners, um, but the Shea Moisture is still better than both of them. The Detangler, Dimethicone is the third ingredient on this. You'll notice I haven't used it. I've mentioned in the past that I don't need much in detanglers. My hair doesn't tangle that often. Um, and it's usually easy to untangle without using one of these. Um, 
the third ingredient, so that's a lot of dimethicone. I did try it once, just so I could talk about it. Uh, it does have good slip, but of course it would. Dimethicone is the third ingredient. It's, that's what partly gives your product slip when you have dimethicone in them. This is also gonna go to my daughter. I'm, like I said, I just don't need it. It has a lot of dimethicone, and that's one of the things that I'm trying to reduce in my hair care. Um, so yeah, not, it probably, like I said, a lot of slip. So anybody whose hair does not have a problem with dimethicone probably wouldn't have a problem with this. The leave-in conditioner. This one has isopropyl alcohol. This one took a while for me to figure out, because uh, honestly, I don't like this setup. This is a spray, and I honestly don't like direct spraying. As you see, it gives you blobs on your hand. And this stuff is thick enough that um, you can very easily just, it would have been better in a pump, I think, honestly, for me. Anyway, all of these have that really strong floral smell. <laughs> Something about the honey, I think. Um, so I would spray it into my hand and I would put it in my hair. Uh, it goes through my hair well, it gives me plenty of wet curl. The frizz is minimal when it's dry. Um, nice post scrunch, pre plopping, curl, fewer flyaways. It's a decent dry curl with less frizz. Not amazing, not horrible, it's usable. Um, I'm on the fence about repurchasing because I did finally figure out a way to use this that actually works for me, and that's for preconditioning for when I for wash days. Um, every other day I wash my hair, and on those days I will slather my hair with uh, leave-in conditioners. Um, I usually use the e I have been using the Eden Body Works. Um, now I can't remember. They're pudding. They have a pudding, coconut pudding or something like that. And I use a Shea Moisture uh, Strength and Repair for my ends. So that's what I was using. The last few days, I decided to try to use this. It actually gives some decent slip. My hair, when I washed it, came out okay. Um, no dry ends. So I might continue. I will probably, I will use this up for that. I swear people, like I know what it is. I want to get into the new box. I am so excited for the new box. And these products just made me so sad, <laughs> most of them, that um, I just want to get into the new box. That's what it is. Um, but anyway, I will, I will finish using this up. It's whether or not I would repurchase it that's up in the air. I'm going to um, probably go with probably not. Uh, by itself, it works as a preconditioner. So it would be cheaper than buying the two I buy, but I would probably still end up buying the strength and repair one anyway, so I don't know. Next we have this Moisture Whip Twisting Cream. Okay, I love this stuff. This is the one thing in the box I love. Um, it is really, really thick in a consistency that is more like a mask. It is very moisturizing. It doesn't, for my hair, it doesn't feel like it has much hold, but then I don't apply a lot. As I've mentioned in the past, a lot of these products say apply liberally. And if I did that to my hair, my hair would just be a disaster and a half. It's very creamy and thick, and it's thicker than it seems. When I pick that up, it doesn't seem that thick, but trust me, this is very, very thick. This is, yeah. This is very thick. Like I said, it's more like a mask to me um, in terms of the consistency. It's not, if you remember the uh, Maui Moisture, I kind of said it was almost like a Crisco consist consistency. Not quite, not quite that hard, but it was along those lines towards that end. This is not towards that end. This is towards the softer end, but it is still very thick. My scrunch curl has been really good. This is the last thing I put in my hair when I'm uh, putting in the products. This is the last product that goes in my hair. Um, works really well, especially with my uh, Shea Moisture Milk. I get a few damp, very few damp flyaways. Uh, get great post pop curl. Um, more defined morning curl, even after I've slept on it. Uh, there's a little bit of frizz, but it's easy to deal with. 
very little dryness. And if I use the uh, Maui moisture mask from two months ago uh, in the rotation, I don't have a lot of frizz or flyaways at all. I will say that I have tried uh, not using it a few times to see what would happen. And our weather has been insanely hot and humid, and my hair has tended towards more frizziness in the humidity without this. So this has become something that um, I would repurchase this. This will be something that will probably end up being a part of at least my summer routine for a while because it really does seem to help with that. I like this and I would repurchase it. Uh, just highly recommend this one. So last we have the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisture Infusion Edge Control. I have not used this very much. I actually have not been using a lot of the edge controls lately. Um, my hair has been a lot more, has been a lot easier to deal with uh, now that I'm taking care of it. There's a lot less flying into my face. Plus I have cat ears that help take everything out of the way. But that's a whole different story. But this reminds me a little bit of the Cantu. Um, it is a kind of a sticky or stiff type um, gel. It is less sticky than the Cantu, which is really nice. I, that's one of the things I didn't like about the Cantu was how sticky it was. Um, it gives me a nice soft hold. It won't last all day. I mean, in my experience, it won't last all day. Um, could be my hair, could be the fact that I go very light with the product, but it works for me because I basically use these to keep my baby hairs out of the way when I'm putting on my makeup. That's all I need it for. Um, otherwise, my edges can do whatever they want. They're very tiny baby hairs, so they're, they don't bother me. Um, the edges are soft, they're uh, moisturized, there's no flaking for me. I don't hate it. I probably wouldn't repurchase it uh, for a variety of reasons, um, including the fact that I have enough edge gel to last me a while, and I'm pretty sure that they will send me more edge gel in the future. Anyway, so overall for last month's box, my favorite thing is the twisting cream. I will use up the leave-in conditioner as a pre-conditioner in my hair, and I will use up the shampoo, which is on the floor somewhere. But the remaining items, so that right there was pretty much the cost of the box because they run $7.99, $8.99. Um, so that right there was the cost of the box, but the remaining items, uh, and I will use this. I mean, I'll use it. So I'm getting my money's worth in the box. I was just really disappointed in how these worked with my hair, if that makes sense. Anyway, now I gotta clear all this stuff off my table. <laughs> Seriously, eight products <clears throat> took over my table. I'm gonna clear this all off and then we will open our new box. All right, so this month's box. I've already cut the lid, but I haven't pulled the box out. I haven't looked at anything, haven't opened anything, haven't seen any spoilers. Ooh, pink curl box. Alrighty, and then we have Brown Kitty Box. One of the cats will take to it. Okay, so let's open this baby up. As usual, we have our curl box. Post your Instagram stuff. This month is curl box, August 12th, 18, the flower power issue. I'm not going to open it because on the inside they'll show you the product. Alright, so we have five products and not, um, not six, which is fine. Just fine. Gonna reach on in. We have a small, we have a lid that's loose. So we have a little bit of a spill. Not, not a massive spill, just feels like it's down the sides. And if you all remember, if you watched my previous um, hair, mostly hair um, unboxing of, or the mail thing that I did recently, it was like the last video or the video before that. You all know I got a, a hibiscus honey, Need and Body Works hibiscus honey uh, sample with my serum. Well, that's what we're doing. That's what we've got this month from our curl box. It's the hibiscus honey curl hydration shampoo.
that's whoa. Oh, I don't know how to describe that. That smells pretty though. Bit on the strong side, it's a bit sweet. There's almost like a citrus smell to it. Take a quick gander, water, aromatine. Hibiscus flower has extract, honey, aloe. Citric acid, I think that might be what I'm smelling, is the citric acid. Glycol. has neither of the issues that I need, no ISO and no dimethicone, so cool. We also received the Curl Hydration Conditioner, thank God. Um, one of the things I noticed in the sample, that sample was, is rough to get the, the product out of it, so I'm really glad this one has a pump. has that same scent. This is beautiful. This has a really gorgeous smell to it. I, I, I'm, I really hope this works for my hair because this is beautiful. Again, we have acetyl alcohol, sterile alcohol, shea butter, cocoa, coconut oil, glycerin, hibiscus, extract, honey, aloe vera, acetyl, Citric acid, no ISO and no dimethicone. And I, I've tried this, I tried the sample and I really, really like the sample. So I'm really glad to have more of it to try with the rest of the line. What else do we have here? We have a bottle of blow dry cream. I don't blow dry my hair. Can you use blow dry cream for anything else? What do you say? You say, Provides best heat protection all day long. Frizz control for sleek, smooth look. Hair should be at least 60% dry before dry, blow drying section. Apply one to two pumps, blow dry. Contains no mineral oil, dyes, and is cruelty free. No ISO and no dimethicone. I will have to figure out if I can use this without blow drying. Because I don't blow dry. I don't use heat on my hair. And if I did blow dry, I wouldn't use heat. Um, I think I've used uh, my daughter's blow dryer maybe twice, and it was to try those curl formers, and with both of them I did um, cool air because I don't like putting heat on my hair. My hair gets damaged too easily. Okay, so next we have a jar of hydration custard. Whoa, that is thick. Very thick. That is not moving. Has that same scent. It's a bit lighter. Whoa. This is, um, this feels kind of on the same as really thick like the Maui was, but very, very moisturizing like the, um, Pure Honey. You know what? I wouldn't mind smelling like that all day. It probably fades, but I wouldn't mind smelling like that all day. <laughs> okay, I could sit here and do this forever. I mean, it is, it's thick, it's very creamy. It feels very moisturized. That is, I'm gonna like playing with that. Of course, I need to check my ingredients, right? Just for my hair safety, really quick. Ingredients, ingredients. Neither of the things that I'm worried about it are in here. That's cool. And all those oils, that explains why it felt really, really moisturizing. I'm excited for that. That's neat. I love masky type things and, and, and leave-ins and stuff. I really do. And next we have the Hibiscus Honey Hair Tonic Liquid Vitamin. What is this supposed to do? This is to transform dry, brittle, dull, lifeless hair. High potency concentration of nutrients to make hair more manageable and healthy looking. Non-greasy, alcohol-free, lightly spritz on hair daily. 
none of the things I'm worried about. That's cool. I'm looking forward to trying that too. So, and then they sent us a card. It says tonic thyme, hibiscus honey, transform dry, brittle, or dull hair with its high potent concentration of nutrients. Uh, uses daily hair moisturizer vitamin, pre-boost blow drying treatment, scalp moisturizer. Benefits, add sheen, gloss, moisturizer hair, curbs dandruff, helps reduce split ends, no petroleum or mineral oil, promotes stronger hair, safer haul hair tribes. That's claiming a lot. Uh, try spritzing onto dry scalp to hydrate, then massage, apply after blow drying to restore lost nutrients less elasticity and to prevent breakage. Use after washes to add immediate nourishment. Feed your hair daily. And then on the back, it talks about all the cleansing and all the other stuff. That's cool. I'm actually really excited about this. Like I said, I've tried the uh, conditioner because I have the um, half. I still have some. I use a lot of conditioner on my hair. I will tell you guys that. When I wash my hair, I condition that. I condition it up. It gets a lot. <laughs> but um, I have tried the conditioner from the line already. I'm, I already like it. And let's take a look at this. It has more about the same thing. Uh, summer is in full effect, and you've probably been hitting the farmer's market to take full advantage of the bounty of natural fruits, veggies, and flowers the season brings. Consider this month's curl box a visit to your local flower stand for your hair, thanks to the new honey and hibiscus collection from Eden Body Works. Each product is a plant-powered blend of super moisturizing honey with nourishing hibiscus e extract whipped up to give you a healthy, hydrated hair all month. You'll get the full benefit of these cleansers, conditioners, treatments, and stylers when used together. So, I don't know, if any of you have used a blow-dry cream without blow drying does it work let me know i would i really would like to try to go ahead and use this some of this so i can report on it next month but overall i think i'm much happier with this box than i was with last bo month's box like i said i've tried the conditioner i've said it several times i've really enjoyed the two times that i've used it i think i've got a third use in that little itty bitty bottle they sent us because i use a lot of conditioner and this stuff felt amazing Anyway, like I said, this is a long one because I have so much to go through and I'm fumbling around with my notes and stuff. I apologize for that, but we are finally done. That's it for today. I hope you like what you've seen. If you're not subscribed, I hope you will subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. It would mean the world to me. But if you don't, that's okay too. I understand I'm not everybody's cup of tea, speaking of which. If you don't subscribe, I do hope you come by again. And when you do, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. Yeah, that coffee's getting stronger by the minute. I'm not even going to finish this cup. I'm sad. Um, but anyway. Yeah. Can't win all the time, right? You all have a good evening.